Hi, Will from Sound on Sound here at Synthfest UK in Sheffield. It's the second annual Synthfest, and here we're looking at all sorts of different synthesizers. Right now, we're checking out three new modules from AJH Synth. So, Alan, Alan, the A in AJH. <laughs> That's Thanks right. For talking yes. to us. Oh, not at all. No, it's a um, wonderful event. Really like Synthfest. We were here last year for the uh, inaugural one, and uh, bigger and better this year. And uh, I have to say, uh, really, really, really good event. So. Excellent. Let's, yeah. let's see the new stuff then. Yeah, sure. We have um, three new modules. Uh, if we do them from through from left to right, um, first of all, we have the um, the Megaphase 12, which this is based on the um, on the the classic uh, Electroharmonix small stone phaser, okay. uh, which was an analog four stage phaser. And this is a module that I started working on initially about 12 years ago. Right. Um, the um, Tony, Tony Allgood from Oakley Sound made the, the Equinox Phaser, which was a, um, a modular, 5U modular version of the, um, of the small stone. And um, at the time, I got one of those, and I, I made a 12, a, an eight-stage expansion to take it up to a 12-stage uh, phaser. And really, I've just sort of picked that up again now um, to, to put it all together into this, um, and with, uh, obviously with, uh, with Tony's blessing. Um, so what we've done is, instead of it being four stage, we've actually taken it up to uh, to twelve stage. And, and what's the significance in terms of the sound of that? Um, you get a very much more, uh, very much deeper phasing. Okay. Um, so we have we have a, a rotary, we have an eight way rotary switch to select the um, the phase. So this f selects the phase stage that we use for output. So if we have that set to four, we're taking the output from stage four. Um, but the other thing that's, that's rather unique about this <clears throat> is that uh, the emphasis or the feedback or uh, resonance loop of it, mm -hmm. um, we can select separately so that we can, for example, we can take the, um, we can take the output from stage four, but we can take the, the resonance from stage 12. And how does that impact the sound? Should we hear um, how that actually... It just gives a lot of versatility because normally with the phaser, it just makes one sound and that's it. So if you have a tau phaser, it'll make a tau phaser sound. But with this, because you can you can change the uh, the stages on both the emphasis and the uh, and the output, it just it, it puts a lot of different phase and sounds into one box. Um, but one of the other things that we can do is we can we can select odd numbered stages. This normally with the um, with, with the small stone, each stage inverts so that. Uh, by the time it gets back to stage four, the signal's the right way up. But if we take the signal from an odd-numbered stage, we actually apply an inverted uh, signal um, it, through the feedback loop. So that you get um, you get sort of a high-pass filtering uh, going on. You get uh, just a, a lot of a lot of different um, phase shifting than you get from all even stages. So um, we also that then, yeah. We? Last thing we have um, we have voltage control of the. Um, the wet dry mix, okay, and we also have uh, voltage control of the uh, the emphasis as well. So we'll just let's just put some um, if we just put some some basic white noise through first. So we'll take the the mix on each of those. Well, this is some, some pink noise, and uh, we're starting. I'm going to hear the classic uh, small stone phaser, and then we can start to add some resonance to that. But then we can take the if we, we can switch stages. So if we go up to. That's eight stage. And then. And then round the 12 stage. But as I say, we can take the emphasis. We can take the emphasis from a different stage. So a very different sound when we go under an odd stage. Yeah, got it. Back under even stages again. Each of, each of the sounds subtly different, so it's. Um, as I say, it gets around this problem of a phaser just being a one-trick pony and that there's one sound in there. With this, there's a, there's a huge number of sounds. And we also have um, 
I'll just bring the levels down there. The, the other thing that we have is we have a wet output as well because normally with phasing, um, you use a 50-50 mix of the, sure. of the processed signal against the dry uh, input. Um, we have 100% wet and an extra input which allows us to put a second emphasis loop in there. So you okay. can put a different effect into the emphasis loop of your phaser. Yeah, yeah. So, so a very flexible unit all round. Yeah. Yeah. How much That's is right. that going to cost then, and when will it be shipping? We don't have a final price on it yet. It's probably between 300 and 350 pounds. Okay. Um, it's production ready. Uh, we, we're expecting to have the first, uh, the first units available six to eight weeks. <laughs>